Hi, everybody. It's Opulent Spiritual, another reading. So this is going to be for all Cancers. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. This is for April 2024. April. We're already here. So let's see what's going on for you, my beautiful Cancers. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you like what I do. And uh, yeah, join my community, right? All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening. Look at this. Are you... <laughs> that shit was stuck on there. There's definitely a beautiful surprise happening for you. You're going to be very happy. Especially with your money. A wish is coming true. And I'm hearing Capricorn, Scorpio, and Pisces here. Yeah, money. Towards the middle of the month. That's the only thing that's on the outside of this cup. Is money. And there's also something with like pregnancy here. You're going to be here. Somebody's pregnant. Or you're going to be pregnant. It's going to happen towards the middle of the month. Yeah. there's some, It's like a secret here. With a mushroom. Hmm. And whatever this is. It's growing very quickly. Because mushrooms grow like very quickly here. Wow, there, wait, hold on. There's something on the bottom of the plate. Hmm. Look how clear you are at the bottom. You're clear because a bridge was built here. It's, it's You're safe to cross now. Letter Z, letter V. 333, three, three, I'm seeing at the bottom. Florida is here, FL. Hmm. Letter M. And there's a sting right here. So it's like something that's delicate, light, you know, like a big creature, right? But if you handle it the wrong way, you can get, you can die, right? Um, There's something with that here. It's like handling something with care. Or you need to be handled with care. Letter P, number 11. Hmm, letter R. Yeah, it's something handling with care here. There's a lot of chatter outside. Like a lot of talking here. There's going to be a lot of gossip or you're going to be talking. Look, and I just said that and like the sun's really shining now. The sun's shining on you. You're becoming very popular. Something you're doing, you're, you're, the spotlight's on you. And maybe you, you don't want that, but... That's what's happening. Year of the rat is here. Year of the rat is big here. Number 12, year of the uh, pig, year of the monkeys here. And we have Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Cancer. Year of the rat, Capricorn. Hmm. Yeah, spotlight's on you. I'm seeing yin yang here. So you're balancing your light and dark sides. You're balancing your masculine and feminine energy here. Because I feel like you're going to be very overwhelmed. You have three opportunities for you here. Three paths to go down towards the beginning of the month. What are you going to do? I don't know. Year of the goat, Leo. I don't know. Which path are you going to go down? It's up to you. I'm hearing the forecast is bright. There is a year of a dog here. Yeah, and you know who's here to help you? Nephrodite. Nephrodite's here. Hmm. The spirit of Nephrodite connected to number three. So the third could be significant. Hmm. Deep feminine energy here. And you have a why, so yes to your question. Year of the horses here. Cancer, that's you. It's all about you. There's something where it's like a magnet. You're magnetically bringing something into your life. And I'm hearing Hoover, like Hoover, Hoovering, hovering. But I'm hearing Hoover. Hmm. So you're about to go off this cliff, right? like the fool, 
And there's an angel literally behind your back, like protecting you from anything here. So it's like taking a, a risk, taking a, a leap of faith that maybe you wouldn't take, but you know that it's the right thing to do. It's like, you know, in your heart that it's, it, you're intuitively going and you, you are right here. Cause I'm seeing that with the angel behind your back. You have the tigers here, Pisces. Now I'm hearing a glow up here. It's like a big glow up for you. So wow, congrats. So yeah, towards the end of the month, you are going through this door here. You are choosing finally, and you have no idea. Like you're right here. You have no idea what's here. You have the peacock energy here. So whatever this is, it's going to boost your ego, your pride, your confidence. You're very confident going through this door. You know, it's the right thing to do. And I'm hearing absolutely, positively. <laughs> Look how many paths are opening up for you. Like, wow. And I'm hearing time to shine. I don't know. You're becoming very popular here. Very popular. You could be going viral. That's what this is looking like to me. Like, you're, you're like... Again, like bombarded with like people that want to work with you. They want to get to know you. They want to work in like a team with you. 51, 27. Yeah, and there's just a lot of gossip around you. I'm seeing letter M, number nine, year of the monkey, Virgo. Year of the snake is here, Gemini. Year of the Pig is here, and Scorpio is here. Scorpio is here. But yeah, you're being seen as like a mermaid here. Just so beautiful. Majestic. Just very healing. You bring a lot of healing to people this month. I don't know what you're doing, but there's something where you're just, you're healing a lot of people with just your presence here. Just you being there. Yeah, it's happening all right now. Whatever this is, it's happening right now. Mm, a lot of money here. Yeah, you have that feminine symbol, like, like female. So it's like, I am woman, hear me roar. Na, na, na. <laughs> so like, you're definitely portraying that. Like, I'm a woman, I'm here. Like, don't mess with me, like. That type of shit. I don't know. Maybe this is like feminist energy. I don't know. So yeah, it's like you're you're the you're the goddess of your own world here. You don't care about what anybody else thinks or how they feel. They could talk whatever, but you know who you are. Letter J, letter F. Like you're not taking any BS from anybody here. You're not, because this is like rapid growth. Like something very quick is happening. And maybe, yeah, maybe people are going to be like, what's going on with that? Blah, blah. Yeah, look, I don't know if that was from your coffee cup, but yeah, you definitely have money here going all over the place. Okay. So let's see. What else? Yeah, it's faded. It's dust and it's ready. Something is coming back around. It's an opportunity. It's your money. Yeah, it's a brand new beginning here. That's going to make you feel emotionally just overwhelmed and so happy here. Cancer for April. Wow. Are you serious, bro? Ten of Pentacles. Year of the Dog is here. Ten again? Yeah, look. You're completing something that was dead down over with. This is a completion of a very tough cycle in your life. And it's bringing you abundance, prosperity, joy. Big time money here. It's going to get you out of this. Yeah, it's going to get you out of this stuck energy here. Year of the goat, year of the rooster, big time here. Wow. This could be connected to like your family and inheritance here. Someone older than you. You have Capricorn here. Yeah, whatever this is, this is big time money here. This is no joke. Yeah, and it's going to allow you to leave move on, move forward. And you waited a long time for this. And it's, and it's here. It's coming. Year of the snake, year of the tiger. 
Pisces, Gemini. I feel like a Gemini is going to help you move forward here. Yeah. Some kind of air energy, but I'm getting it could be a Gemini here helping you move forward. This could be someone coming towards you with like an opportunity of love or some kind of opportunity that's going to make you feel very happy here. Emotionally fulfilled, I'm hearing. And you're you're just living your best life. I told you, that's what you're doing. You're like doing your own thing, looking very sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is you, the Empress here. That That's you. Moving on, moving forward. Healed. Healing and healer. That's what I'm healing. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's what I'm healing. Like, healing. Oh my gosh. I said that twice. You're healing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Whatever this is, it's unexpected. You know, it's a tower moment, but a lot of you, the tower comes down when it's something that's already dead, done, and over with. It's something that you're already aware of, but something's unexpected as well. But you but you expect this, but it's unexpected. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's what I'm hearing. It's like something you know is supposed to happen, but you don't know that it's happening. But this is a blessing. This is like beyond a blessing here. It's going to change your life. Okay, hold on. The tea leaf for cancer. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Fell on the floor. All right, we have mountain road. You are on the road to success. Wow. Okay. Kite vacation. Camel. Maybe you're going to like the Middle East or something on a vacation. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Yeah. You just need to keep going. Persevere. Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. That's what all that is. But you just got confirmation that you don't need to worry. Scorpio energy is here. We have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Maybe that's why you're taking a trip. And this just went on my wrist, December. So this could be someone that maybe you're getting angry over. They could be a Sagittarius, Capricorn. Hmm. For some reason, you could be getting upset with this person. Or this person's bringing that tower moment of misunderstanding here. Hmm. Bo, you are highly thought of. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a dark woman. Dark complexion or hair. That could be someone you're getting angry at. <laughs> you have cancer hair. That's you. Something's happening around July for you. Maybe you're this dark woman and you're highly thought of here. Maybe someone's getting into a fight with you because of something you said. I don't know. Okay, so let's find out for love for you. The 13th could be significant for you. Okay. Cancer and love. Let's see. For cancer here. Separation. Missing you. Sadness. Yearning. Unsure of the future. Hmm. Roses could be significant. All right. So for some of you, someone wants to rebuild with you. A relationship that's missing you for some of you the other part of you um the other uh ones of you <laughs> the other ones the others so the other majority of you let's just say it like that have faith love is coming a surprise invitation okay and you're gonna be hesitating like do i go do i do this i don't know keep it shooting his arrow at you love but yeah, so you're dealing with both here. Kisses. Hmm. Unconditional love, affection. So you could be talking to this person on Instagram or social media here. Yeah, love call. They're definitely, someone's going to express how they feel to you. Or this is you expressing how you feel, but it's going to be very seductive here. Traction, flirting, dating. You're definitely going to be dating. Wow. Wow. So get ready for that. That's very exciting. Ooh. Okay, let's get charms. Let's see. Z. Q. 10, 10. Something with the 10th is going to be significant for you. F. P.
You can be going to Ikea. Rest. Yeah, you definitely need to rest when you need to. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're definitely going to flip on somebody. There's definitely going to be a fight here. Because you feel like you're the alpha here. Or someone feels like they're the alpha. I don't know. You could connect to the fairies. Maybe you have like fairy blood. Something with PA here. Maybe you're from PA. Pennsylvania. Shout out to you. You could be praying a lot right now. Praying. I'm here on a banquet. So you definitely could be going on a banquet or hosting a banquet or something. Number four, which is April right now. Uh, Year of the Rabbit. Aries. That could be someone you're getting into a fight with too. Believe in love. This could be someone in love as well. A sister is someone to dream, cry, and sing with. That could be your sister. You also have soulmate energy here. Okay. Some of you, you could be going like kayaking. I'm hearing you're number one. Yeah, you're, you're very vulnerable right now. You feel very vulnerable. You're going to really express your feelings and what, you, especially Gemini energy I'm getting. 65, dreams are for chasing. Something with Europe, European, Paris. Yes, yeah, something's going to make you feel secure and stable, like anchored down. And you have definitely love here. It could be coming from like your family. You have the sea turtle here. So a long journey. You know, you know the sea turtles. They have the they have a long ass journey, but you know what to do. It's like using your intuition and love here. Yeah. It's like you know what to do. You you have those those instincts, you know what I mean? Like it could be those motherly instincts too. You're definitely taking some kind of trip. You're going somewhere with the plane here. It says weakness is a choice. And it says strong is beautiful. Yeah, that's how that's how you're looking at people this month. You're like, listen, I went through a lot of shit, right? I know what I need to do. I'm a strong ass person. I don't want any of these weak ass people around me that don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't want to hear this weak ass shit. That's what you're going to be like. Live your dreams because you're going to be like, wow, I went through a lot of shit and I'm not complaining. I'm not struggling like you are. I was struggling, but I got out of it because of myself. This is what you're going to be saying. Yeah, you're definitely finding true love here. A soulmate. Yeah, and they could be a water sign like you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have letter H here. What is this? Leo. You got Leo here. Yeah, you could have been involved in like a third party situation here. But this is also balancing your mind, body, and spirit. Yeah, you're definitely connecting to someone from the past. This could be like a childhood friend, someone you're very close to. Like I like I said, this is a soulmate. Pumpkin here. There's something with the, the fall. The harvest here, the autumn season, the autumn season. And you have the frying pan. You're cooking something up. Maybe you're cooking for somebody. I know you guys like the cooking shit. Transformation, feeling renewed. I'm hearing a breath of fresh air. Yeah, and you have the bat here. So I told you, you have haters. You have people that are jealous of you. And something took a long ass time. And you had the camel in the card too. Something with camels. This is your spirit animal for April. Something with camels here, but they're very resourceful here. You know, and I feel like you're that type of person. You're very resourceful. You could be dealing with an earth sign here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, and you're hearing news with this little bird. It's some kind of news. This is like a pregnancy here. Wow. Some of you could be meeting a twin flame, like dealing with the twin flame. Soulmate or twin flame here. It just depends on who you are. But yeah, you're very exhausted. You're overworked. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and your health because health is wealth. And that's all I have for you. Yeah, you're definitely going on like some kind of plane or trip or something here. Something very important. Hmm. Okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Enjoy your month and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.